YouTubers, how are you doing? <clears throat> so I'm back home and uh, the wall is back up. Put on some extra things there. You might see. <clears throat> like, uh, <clears throat> a little bit funny card. Pre wedding in Bali. <laughs> And also uh, about the magnet, Statue of Liberty, and uh, a Bing Tang beer. Okay, let's get the shave on, shall we? So we're going to use the shaving cream I found in Indonesia, in, in uh, not so far from Jakarta. Dalam, man, they had two there. <coughs> and uh, my brush. Is soaking in the skull, which I don't use very often. If to tell the truth, it's just a little bit of hassle. Sometimes it's just easier to just soak uh, or run, let the brush under running water. But it uh, kind of looks cool in the pictures and so on. So we put uh, some uh, of this cream in here. There, let's see. Maybe that's enough, or maybe too much, but whichever. I have so many creams and soaps from before. Take the brush, wring it out. And start to whipping up the lather. So yeah, it's good to be home, but I had a heck of a vacation too. So uh, it was a, a trip for a lifetime, you could say. You know, I was doing a, a video, but it uh, wasn't a very good one, in uh, not so far from Jakarta, but uh, I, I didn't choose to not upload, it wasn't that good. But, you know, you felt more alive down there, you know, I felt like I, I don't want to do shaving videos anymore. Because <laughs> there were so many things you can do. Go to the shopping mall, meet the friends, family. I didn't know I had such a big family down there. Through my wife. So we spent good times with them. You know, uh, I felt like I was uh, in a... It was very uncivilized to eat with a uh, spoon and a fork. Uh, or with the fingers. <laughs> but, you know, it's amazing what you get used to. You know, you say, when you don't get the knife and a fork, it, this... I don't know the English man or who says it, I don't know, but... A bit uncivilized, right? <laughs> but it's amazing what you can get used to. I ate with fingers, I ate with spoon and fork. I ate food that I've never eaten before. So there, enough lather. So I had a good time, but uh, but I also got sick down there. And it was hard to breathe. <sighs> Triple effect, Dalan. I don't know, energetic it says. Ultra most moisturizing formula helps to protect the skin from drying. With Alan Thorn or something, something like that. So there, let me wet my face. And yeah, I uh, changed up a little bit here, trimmed it. And uh, maybe I'll grow it down and up like that, like a sort of bird, beard. <laughs> And yes, I got this for you, Carl Schiefer. 
because you felt a little bit uh, like everybody was on vacation and you didn't have any place to go. So this is for you, bro. I just need your address or something to send it off soon. So <laughs> hope you like it. <clears throat> so we're gonna use my trusty ProRaso. You know, probably don't need to. Just a force of habit, I guess. I use it on my head too when I shave and you can see I got the battle scar there. I shaved my skull or head the, a few days ago with uh, my head blade but with the adapter with the sensor blade on it. If you see any video. So we're going to use a Visamet Karat that I got in Bangkok. It looks like that. And it, uh, there you go. Visamet Karat. There's no blades in there. Stainless blade in itself, but there's no blade in there. Just the insider. It just looks like a regular tack or something like that very there's no markings as far as I can see you unscrew somebody said it to me it was rare I just have happened to find it at the big market in Bangkok I don't remember the name So what do I think of Bangkok? Wow, what a big city. Very nice. I like it. Very hot or warm. But, uh, and when you came to the airport, you, it says you pay the taxi driver the what meter says plus 50 baht extra. Probably because of parking. Yeah, not likely. At, uh, I don't remember how much he paid, like a thousand or something. Uh, he took extra for it. We had, ex two, uh, we had two large suitcases and two small suitcases, and he took extra for that. So be mindful if you go into Bangkok, they might rip you off a little bit. Not that uh, they ripped us off uh, exactly because we we have uh, our currency is higher or whatever, so it's not so much money when you come to think of it. But it's not what it's supposed to be if you were to run by meter. And uh, in the day at that time they usually did drive by meter, but uh, in the evening they didn't want to drive with meter. You had to haggle the price or something like that. That's the only thing I didn't like about Bangkok. Uh, so I think they could uh, drive by meter or put up the prices where, where it was fair for them or whatever. But hey, that's the way the world works. So let's ladder up. So we flew from uh, Trondheim. Where I live, or where we live, me and my wife. And we flew to Sweden, to Arlanda in Stockholm. And from Stock, we flew in a SAS machine, Scandinavian airline system, small airplane. And then we came to Arlanda and we had all the luggage checked in so we don't have to pick it up anything. So at, at Varnes, our, our airport, all the way to, to Bangkok. Then we flew from, uh, we came to Sweden, yeah. <coughs> and then we get went on uh, Qatar Airways. Airbus, big, big, uh, not, not uh, two stories, but uh, big with several aisles there and you get the free the thing to put over your eyes and yeah, earplugs, flight socks or socks, and you get a lip balm, 
You get swell bag, pillow. So we jumped under, or jumped down, or jump. We jumped under, or jumped down, or jump. <laughs> and then we flew to Doha. We flew to Doha, changed the flight there. And then we flew to Bangkok. And yeah, it was a little bit tired after the journey. And uh, but you had a lot of things you can do on the on those uh, Qatar Airways uh, planes. You can um, if you can play uh, you can play games. You could uh, watch films, sleep, and you also had to eat good meals and drink beer, whiskey, whatever you want. So yeah, it was always something to do. What was most important for me was to remember to take my medicine. <laughs> okay, I think that's uh, pretty good. You can see this uh, uh, shaving cream is pretty decent. And it has a very nice scent. I don't know what kind of scent. If it's jasmine or whatever. Not vanilla and no, not Nothing like that, not the flavor, not the scent that I can pick up. So, my, one of our friends in England, uh, he, he swears by these blades. Uh, I don't know if they're any good. I used them one time before, but uh, so they were okay, as far as I can see. Let's use them one more time, and let's see if my opinion changed. And I'm using the head blade, that I got made in Bali. There. And yeah, I got sick. Yeah. And then I got shaving cream all over. <laughs> over this necklace. I got sick and I had to go coughing all the night long and couldn't sleep. So we went to the international hospital and they asked me if I had asthma and blah 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 no i said i never never had asthma <clears throat> and, uh, i think it was like it took an x-ray too because i had to go to another hospital too to get more medicine later but so so the probably was bronchitis but they also said it was pollution <laughs> which is which was worse, well it was, I mean, I don't know, but it was definitely hard to breathe there. And it wasn't very nice with all the traffic all the time. In Bali, you know, you expected to be in paradise and you were streets and, and stores after stores. And uh, you couldn't see the beach when you came to the hotel, but we, uh, we didn't buy the most expensive uh, hotel either though, to save money. So I thought maybe it was more paradise than it was. It was very nice beaches though, I'm not gonna say it wasn't. But what I liked most about Bali was the things you can buy and also the things you can make, have made. Not so much the views. But I didn't go everywhere there. But Bali wasn't so spectacular. Maybe it's spectacular for a surfer who goes there because of the waves. But other than that, nah, not so much. And we also uh, got some uh, coupons or whatever to come and 
see some fancy places and everything, but it wasn't, wasn't that fancy. We went to two different uh, locations. One was very nice though, and you know, close to the beach. But the other one wasn't. And they didn't have time for a tourist uh, to take a tour around the complex to speak English. So, what's the point? And now I'm forgetting. I thought I was starting to do here in my face. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Let me do it next time then. <laughs> Talking too much. So we were, I don't know how long time we were in Bali, we were there quite a while. It was nice too though, the beaches and everything and the swimming pool. We went to one hotel that was close to the beach and everything. But they drove with motorbikes and cars on the beach there too. <laughs> and the traffic at all times. At all times in Bali. Imagine that. Well, people who are used to it, maybe it's not uh, unusual, but in Norway, you know, they have rush hours in the week, and that's uh, when uh, from 3 o'clock until 4 or 5. <laughs> not as bad as down there, that's for sure. So, <clears throat> will I shave my head again? I don't know. You know, it's, I use the head blade and uh, sometimes I miss spots where it's hard to get to, like where you have the bumps here and things. So I don't know if I will use it again. It's easier for me, in my opinion, is just to use an electric uh, clipper and just trim. So we'll see, I will decide. Uh, So uh, the Karate, it's a good razor, mild, not very aggressive, and the blade is not the uh, most aggressive either. But this shaving cream is really good, and it has a, some kind of cooling sensation on my skin. And I come to think, uh, feel it now. Maybe because I didn't use it enough for hot water or whatever. So well, yeah, so uh, we, then we went, fly, flew from Bali, we flew to the airport in Tangirang, just outside uh, in Jakarta. And uh, some of the family members picked us up there. That was nice. And we went to the hotel. And uh, yeah. You know what? Uh, we went to meet uh, my wife's friends. We had good times. Was, uh, we went to the, the malls, the mall, it's not like in Norway, I can show you the pictures, uh, the guy who was with the fish paint. The facial paint and everything and it looked like it was from the tribe or something. 
<clears throat> he made the, the necklaces from bone and things like that. And I saw a wood carver carving out from wood. In the shopping mall, we don't have that in Norway. And it also had cinema in the shopping mall. That was that was incredible. When they had the vibrating shares when you watch we saw the Lion King and maybe I told you already. In Norway I just recently seen the vibrating share, but I don't think they just had him uh, inside the cinema, but they don't have it uh, have any any place where you can sit in chairs like that, yeah. And there he had it at the shopping mall. <laughs> and I saw a, a big uh, Hummer or a Jeep or whatever. So some people have a lot of money there and some people are poor. And I was uh, out eating, we went to a nice place. And there was a girl who was like holding her arm. She was probably so tired working so much or pain in her arm. <laughs> I felt sorry for her. Because <laughs> I know they work a lot there. But, you know, it wasn't so bad. I really like it. Almost good mood to be <laughs> in Indonesia. But what I don't like about it is the pollution and the crazy traffic. I don't think I could dare to drive there. There's like bikes and cars coming around everywhere, even in the wrong lane sometimes. Luckily, I didn't see much accidents. <laughs> at all <coughs> so that's good but to drive down there wow it's crazy with the motorbikes coming everywhere and you know you had to go into a store or something if you were waiting because outside the street it was like <coughs> <coughs> they used a freaking mask I never used a freaking mask before, except when time, one time I was at the hospital because I, they thought I had something, uh, like something contagious. <laughs> so that's uh, the first time. So I, that's one thing I don't like about Indonesia: the pollution <coughs> of the or whatever you want to call it, exhaust fumes. Gas. No. But there are also very many talented people working on motorbike, fixing them, and it was like small workshop everywhere next to next to some other uh, place we were visiting the family. And then inside the corner of the road they was working on a motorbike, painting the engine. They seemed very happy, many people too. And also very polite, I think. I like to think that we in Norway are polite, but they were very polite in, uh, in Indonesia, in Bangkok too, though. And other places, like in Doha, <laughs> I went on an airplane using the Qatar Airways cap. You saw if you saw another video. And the guy called me boss, <laughs> maybe because I'm so tall and big. <laughs> I don't know. Hey there, boss. <laughs> and then I went on board and sat down in Qatar Airways on the way home. And I bought a cap in Doha. And the uh, flight uh, stewardess uh, the girls, I like your cap. <laughs> yeah, I said, I like it too. I said, <laughs> pretty girls, sexy, I mean. 
<laughs> or looking at the random. Got a notification that my battery is low. Hopefully it will last. Well, I was going to save here, but we'll do it for next time, since I was absent. <laughs> so yeah, it was a wonderful journey, and I had many, many good massages, and their ref reflex low G, or what do you call it. I love it. A pedicure. And I went up to the Jakarta one day and we went to the big skyscraper at the view of our city. Wow. It was spectacular. I had to change the elevator. You know, it was a big, I felt confused at times. <laughs> So there, so uh, and the inside the elevator they had like a little thing on the inside of the wall and the elevator the other day when you went out you suddenly closed so you must press a button or something you don't have to do that normally and inside the elevator I told you they had a little thing box plastic box and it says call Nick make you call me I guess <laughs> I have no idea Okay, let me rinse off and, find, and I will show you the surprise and what we're really going to use. So there, I'm back. So uh, back in the 70s, you know, you could uh, really feel when you went out traffic, the bad air. And uh, today, in the, in the, now, it's like, it's not so bad because you have cattle, uh, cattle uh, you know, the thing that takes away cut the desalter, we call it, and uh, also now we have many electric cars, so it's not so bad anymore as it was back then, but in Indonesia it's really bad, because they don't have many, they don't have electric cars there, and so just for those who are rich, and probably those who are rich don't want to drive it anyway, and uh, except those who, who, I don't know, cares, whichever. So uh, I like in Norway, you are a little bit more civilized in traffic. You stop for the pedestrian, you know, there, there they didn't stop for you anywhere. It's crazy, if you ask me. So <clears throat> I, I like uh, old cars too. And I, you know, when you go to those uh, meetings and you see the old cars and you can smell the petrol or the gas or, or whatever from the car, you know, it's really, really strong but uh, enough about that so yeah there is there is a lot of bullshit you might say about global warming but not everything is bullshit i don't know which is what <laughs> at times sometimes i think it's bullshit like donald trump says but sometimes i also think it's real but what the uh, whatever you'll see i try to i drive a hybrid so uh, uh, I tried to do my part and also tried to, I, yeah, some years ago I didn't fly at all but now in the last few years I've flown a lot so I probably have a carbon footprint on that uh, more than before but um, yeah we gotta uh, go places and experience new things too and feel more alive you know now I'm back to everyday life and everyday life can be freaking boring so, but uh, enough, of, enough of that, <laughs> here's the surprise, yes, I went and I bought one in Qatar, so it comes like that, I saw uh, one in Bangkok too, but I didn't buy it at the antique market there 
And there you have a little bit different color than the one you can buy here. This is the Dio. Let's see, can you use a little bit? I can get on the shirt. And usually I prefer the roll on, but this is a good one too. I know some people can't use the roll on, so they don't have a choice to use that. So it comes like in a plastic, fantastic box. And uh, it's some kind of. And then uh, my wife bought me this ring in Indonesia. I bought another one with a stone on it, but it wasn't so nice and it was like a crack under here, and I gave it away. I don't know how much I paid for it, but it couldn't be that much. And it's important to give to family. The family we have there too, so they don't have everything either. I guess that's what we people do when they go on vacation. We give to the family. <laughs> we were trying to get the uh, with us different things like food from Indonesia. My wife misses the food, which is natural. There. There you go, and uh, this is something I remember from the 70s uh, when I uh, used to live uh, outside of town here and uh, there was one man who had a bottle like this. He lives in Florida today actually. So it comes like that and it is it's like a ch -ch -ch. So let's see if I, I if the scent is the same as it was back in the seventies. <laughs> Pretty similar, if not the same. So that's the brute perfumes passage Paris oui, oui, oui. I also got uh, this in Bangkok. It's a uh, shaving skin bracer. Love it. So <clears throat> I don't know if he had a fabric brute. If there's a difference between that one, this is definitely. <coughs> Sorry. Definitely different, uh, different than this, the brute you get in America. It's definitely not the same. And fancy bottle with a fancy necklace or what you want to call it. I think it's glued on, no? it's not loose. So I'll use this uh, occasionally or uh, for Christmas something like that because it's special so yeah that was nice and let's see i think we just go with the men and the still again so yeah uh, i have any nice uh vacations this year i think we went on too many though <laughs> My wife loves to travel. <laughs> I like it too, though. It's not that. And I owe her a little bit money too. Because <laughs> it costs a lot. So I have to pay her back a little bit. She earns a little bit more than me. So, so that's that. So it's a good shave with the cut out. I know some of my, in my group, in the village Let's Say Racer on Facebook, they wanted, uh, she said the, the racer was uh, quite rare. And he, if I were going to Poland again, he said he would have wanted to buy it. 
definitely you could uh, do that or a train I like it but it's not the fastest or the best racer I think I prefer the, the adjustable one more than this one but it's nice it's a nice one but in the case I'm case came through without being smashed so that's quick so I think that was it for the day I had a lot to talk about and uh, more I could say too and here are one of the things I bought in uh, Indonesia cotton buds for kids because in my ears here they're so stiff I can't get a regular cotton bud cotton swab in there but with these ones, I can. And this one, you can't find in Norway. You don't have. You don't have. So, there goes the show. They can manufacture for kids, smaller ones. I use the regular ones in here now. But uh, the, if you can see. Here I have a regular one. I can get a little bit there, but in here, nah. So, I use this. Sometimes I can use that spray by the Costola, so these are cheaper alternative. So, so that's nice, I bought a bunch of these. So, take care, I may all have some shapes, and I hope you enjoy the the brute, but especially for you and me. Take care. Bye now.